Okay, so this is the output that you get when you run SPSS and independent t-test. And so I'm just going to kind of walk through the important pieces of information that you need to look for. So of course, you've got up here your um, basic descriptive stats. You've got your means, you've got your standard deviation, and you ultimately, again, are comparing this 3.75 to the 5.0. So you also get this independent samples t-test table. And there's, there's a couple of pieces of information you want to look at. The very first thing you want to look at is this first SIG value. Because we said that one of the assumptions of a t-test is that the data are normally distributed. So you have two choices here. You've got equal variances assumed, equal variances not assumed. So do you interpret the top row of information or do you interpret the bottom row of information? And what you have to do is you have to look at this first SIG column. If the SIG column is greater than 0 0.05, it's telling you that there is not a significant difference in how the variances are spread between the two groups, which is a good thing because now we can interpret equal variances assumed. If that number was less than 0 0.05, it's going, you're going to then have to interpret the bottom row of information because you're then saying the way the scores are spread between the group, two groups is not equal. And in essence, what happens is SPSS adjusts for that inequality in that spread of scores. So in this example, our variances are equal. So we go over here to our T value, and you need this T value because you have to report this T value. And that T value is, in essence, calculating the difference in the means between 3.75 and 5.0. It's not an exact difference, all right? Because if you had a look at the formula on how that T is calculated, it takes into account the means, it takes into account the number of people in the study, and it takes into account the standard deviation. And there's a big formula that it plugs in. SPSS does that all in the background and calculates this difference. This difference is then associated with a probability value. Okay, so in the yellow here, we are ultimately going to decide whether there is a significant difference between 3.75 and 5.0, which is calculated as this t-value, right? And we can determine based on this value, it is not less than 0.05, and in essence, our results tell us there is not a significant difference in mischievous acts between those who wear an invisibility cloak and those that do not. So it doesn't really matter. The students are mischievous either way on whether or not they're wearing the cloak. That's in essence what these results are telling us.